At the turn of the 20th century, the southern Appalachian Mountains were home to vast stands of virgin timber, including oak, hickory, poplar, and hemlock. The logging industry, which began to expand rapidly in the 19th century, targeted these valuable hardwoods for use in construction, and furniture, and other industries. At the time, the logging industry was largely unregulated and clear-cutting, a practice that involved cutting down all the trees in an area, was common. The logging industry had a significant impact on the families and the communities of southern Appalachia. The forest of Appalachia, which covered parts of Georgia, Tennessee, and North Carolina, and Virginia, were rich in timber. And the logging industry developed rapidly in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. This was one of the first industries to provide employment for the many families in the region. But the work was often dangerous and low-paying. Logging companies relied on labor from the local population, and many Appalachian families depended on the industry for their livelihood. However, the work was often seasonal and irregular, with long periods of unemployment between logging seasons. The script system was a form of currency that was only valid within the company-owned town or company store, and it wasn't accepted anywhere else. Under this script system, logging companies would pay their workers with paper or metal tokens that could be used to purchase goods and services from the company store. Now, these tokens didn't have any intrinsic value, and they weren't legal money, but they could be exchanged for company goods and services. Now, this script system had several disadvantages for workers. First, the value of the tokens was set by the company, and it wasn't always equivalent to the real value of money. This meant that the workers could be paid less than they were owed for their labor. And second, because these tokens were only valid at the company store, the workers had no choice but to buy goods from the company at the prices set by that same company. This meant that workers had little control over their own finances, and they were often trapped in debt to these companies. Oh, it was a vicious cycle. This script system was widely used in the logging industry in southern Appalachia prior to the 1940s, but it was also used in other industries such as coal mining. Now this system, it began to decline in the 1930s and 40s as labor laws were enacted to protect workers' rights. And more workers began to organize and demand fair wages and better working conditions. The impact of the logging industry on the environment was significant. Clear cutting was a logging technique in which all the trees of an area were cut down. And unfortunately, this was very common in southern Appalachia. The loss of the forest cover also increased the risk of flooding and other natural disasters. In addition, the logging industry disrupted traditional ways of life for many families in the region. You see, the forest had long been an important source of food and medicine and other resources for people. And the rapid pace of logging led to the depletion of these resources. So while the logging industry provided employment for the many families in southern Appalachia, it had many negative impacts on the environment and the traditional ways of life. By removing most of the trees, the habitat for wildlife was destroyed and the local ecosystems were disrupted. It also increased soil erosion and runoff, which led to sedimentation and pollution of streams and rivers. As a result, the water quality of many streams and rivers was severely damaged, which had negative impacts on the aquatic life. And in many cases, it made the water unfit for human consumption. In addition to the environmental impacts, the logging industry also had significant social and economic impacts on the region. While it provided many jobs for the local residents, it also created significant economic disparities between the landowners who profited from the logging operations and the laborers who worked in the mills and the logging camps. Many of these workers were immigrants, or descendants of immigrants, who had come to the United States seeking economic opportunities. Yet, they were paid low wages and worked under dangerous and difficult conditions. The owners of these logging operations created company towns, which were owned and operated by the companies themselves. These towns were often isolated and lacked basic services such as health care, education, and infrastructure. That's right, and they were designed to provide a captive labor force for the logging industry. And, because the workers couldn't spend their money anywhere else, these companies had these folks right where they wanted them. 
This led to a vicious cycle of debt and dependency, and it was very difficult to escape. Despite these negative impacts, the logging industry played a critical role in the economic development of Appalachia. It provided jobs and economic opportunities for many people, and it helped to spur the development of transportation infrastructure, such as the railroads and the roads, and it made it easier to access and transport natural resources. However, by the 1920s, it was becoming clear that the logging industry was not sustainable. Many of the old growth forests had been depleted, and the industry was increasingly turning to second growth forests, which were less valuable and more difficult to access. In response to these challenges, a number of conservative groups and government agencies began to advocate for the protection of the Southern Appalachian Mountains. These efforts culminated in the establishment of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park in 1934. This was the first national park in the eastern United States. The park, which straddles the border between Tennessee and North Carolina, was designed to protect the natural and cultural resources of the region, including its forests and its wildlife and the cultural heritage. The establishment of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park marked a turning point in the history of Southern Appalachia. It represented a shift away from the unregulated exploitation of natural resources and towards the conservation and the preservation of these resources for future generations. Today, the Southern Appalachian Mountains are home to a thriving tourist industry which celebrates the natural beauty and the cultural heritage of the region. While the legacy of the logging industry is still visible in the form of scars on the landscape and in the memories of those who worked in the industry, it is also clear that the region has undergone a significant transformation in the past century, and the future of our mountains is hopeful.